<laughs> hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to paint a birdhouse. So the first, the things that you're gonna need is paint brushes, a cup of water, some paints of your choice, and a birdhouse, and something you want to put something under it, under like your birdhouse, so that way you don't get any paint on your table or whatever you're painting. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing that you're, wanna, you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to pick a brush. You're gonna want to dip it in water and then grab your paint and paint on it. Um, so you're gonna want to paint like very lightly and not too hard on the birdhouse because if you do, it will be like it'll be very chunky paint and you don't want it to be very chunky because you want it to look nice after. And you don't need too much paint on each spot because you because you have so much paint on on a little bit of the brush that it'll be good if you just like if you just kind of paint it like this i'm sorry about the background noises and like if you see like little marks like this on your um paper you can't really see it through the camera but you just kind of want to spread those out because you don't want those marks for later um and you're just gonna keep taking a little bit of like like paint and just kind of swirling it because yeah you're just gonna kind of be doing this kind of hard to paint in the camera <laughs> and i hope you guys enjoy this video also. and you definitely want to make sure you get the edges like me i don't know if you can see that but i'm trying to show you the best way that i can you definitely gonna want to get those edges and how to get the edges is you take your brush and you take the like the tips of your brush and you just kind of paint down So, and with your brush, you definitely want to, if you have a birdhouse like mine, you want to kind of get in between those lines, just to make sure it doesn't look weird after. And you're going to take some more paint, just a little bit for this though, and you're going to go on the edge, and just kind of paint it through. You're just going to kind of want to just push it down, like that. And now it's time to do the other side. You guys, a good thing for when you're painting, you want to kind of do like... If you have like two sides of everything, you kind of want to do the two sides of everything first because then it makes it a lot easier to paint it after, for it to like paint after. You kind of want to hold it in different directions when you're painting it. And yes, I am off-handed. If you guys were wondering, you probably weren't, but it's okay. Um, yeah. That's what it's looking like right now. Um, I like the color red, so I'm doing red, but you obviously do not have to do red if you do not want. This is basically just painting a birdhouse video, kind of, just because, like, you can do whatever colors you kind of want. I'm kind of going for, like, I know, like, Easter has passed, but I'm kind of going for, like, an Eastery theme, kind of, if you know what I mean. Kind of, like, Eastery colors, but, yeah. Make sure when you paint that, like, it isn't very, very, like, completely light, because you want to make it, like, look pretty. I might need to pour a little more red paint after, but that's okay. Okay guys, so now we are going to be painting these two sides light yellow, if you didn't hear that. So, we are going to be taking some light yellow and just kind of spreading it around. Yeah, that's basically all we're doing. So, and for this part, you're going to want to be careful, you guys. Like, because if you have a house like mine, you're going to see that, like, it has that edge up there and you don't want to paint that edge because you don't want to paint that. So just make sure when you're painting, like, up there, use the ends of the brushes and not, like, the whole entire brush. There you go. A little more paint, a little more paint. You don't need too much paint, so that's the idea. You need enough paint, but not too much paint. So, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> and you want to make sure that no spots are, like, completely white because that would be, like, kind of sad because you want it to be, like, pretty, you know? So... Just so you know, in the camera, it might look like I'm painting with my right hand, just so you can clarify that, but I'm already painting with my left hand. And if I said writing, I'm sorry. And yeah, I mean, you're gonna want to kind of get, like, the edges of here, like, I'm gonna show you guys. So, like, you know, these, like, edges here, all around these edges, you're gonna want to get those edges, so, yeah. And we might be doing second coats, I don't know, though, I don't know, maybe. Depending on, like, if I want, like, if it's really bright, but. Make sure, like, in the corners, if you have a house like mine, make sure, like, in the corners, you don't do, like, you don't do, make sure, like, you do have all the paint. Like, paint is painted there, for sure. I might be doing blue on the other side. I'm sorry. 
sorry I'm trying. Hmm. So you guys, you're just gonna want to like paint really good. If you can see in the camera, I have all these thick lines, little thick lines. You want to make sure you get rid of them, or else it's gonna dry with the thick lines, and you don't want that. You want it to look like all nice and pretty, right? Well, at least that's what I want for my birdhouse. I don't know what you guys do. I want it to look nice, you know? So. You guys it's okay if you do get like yellow paint on like these two sides because if you're doing it you can just do a darker color there and it won't really show so not to be anxious my least favorite part because it gives me anxiety that it's gonna fall on it's gonna like the paint is gonna fall from the brush and it's gonna ruin the mold that i have that's why i do like very light paint not like too much it's okay we need a little more Sorry, I'm sorry for annoying right now. This is like kind of like my first YouTube video talking. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So now that we're done this part, I forgot to say that. Oops. Now that we're done this part, we're going to be doing um, another. I'm going to take like a light. Actually, no. Not even that brush. Take like the lightest brush you have. Only because you're doing like a very small amount of like thing. So, for that part, doing this light blue, I'll show you guys on the brush if you can see that, that's what it looks like. You're gonna wanna, for this trimmer, you're gonna wanna always flip it to the other side. The side you don't kind of get. Sorry, I'm looking, I'm paying very much attention to this. And I, you guys, if you wanna mix colors, you totally can. I just didn't do that because, well, I just didn't. But you guys totally can if you want. And I actually have a special surprise at the end of this. Like, kind of a surprise. today productive what am i saying okay so now we're oh shoot i just skipped this whole part so now they're on this side you're gonna want to kind of paint it very very lightly and for the edges you just kind of want to go just straight down and not like go like that and that and that you just want to go straight down i'm so sorry you guys just skipped that whole part it's my bad I'll show you guys both of the sides right now. Here's side number one. Actually, I don't do that. So you guys, now I'm painting this part purple and this part teal. And I already painted it teal, but you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna get the ends on the edges. Um, yeah. There's that. Next, we're gonna be doing purple on this side. A light purple. I'm just gonna grab that. I don't know what brush I'm gonna use this brush. This brushy brush. Sorry. Okay, so. So now, if you want, you see how if it has a circle like mine, you just kind of want to go around it like you're making a circle. So that way, like, kind of like a circle, if you know what I mean? Like around the circle. So that way it looks like you're, you're drawing a circle. So that way it doesn't, like, I always put my hand. It's gonna be hard because I always put my hands on like a part of the house. But now I can't because it's like not. It's actually it's a lot harder than it looks, you guys. Don't give up. It doesn't mean you should give up. It's just it's very, very lying. I'm trying not to get this on my hands, but it might happen. So are gonna get a little bit on my hands. Yep, I've got lots of different colors on my hands. I'm just not just from touching the house. And for to do like to go on the edges, you just want to take the end and shove them up in the edges. You know what I mean? There we go. Okay, so that. Sorry, my eyes are starting to burn because I've been blind for a long time. The next part that we are going to do is this part and this part. And I'm thinking of painting the back orange. And you guys, I didn't mention this, but you're going to want something to swirl it on. Like, so you get the water part off of the brush. And I'm just going to be painting the back. 
got this one. Actually, I really like it. Place the back of it, and to get up in the edges, you just want to kind of take your brush and shove the, shove like the tip of your brush, tip of the tips, bleh, I can't talk. the tips of like your brush. You just kind of shove it up there. You can see what I'm doing. And yeah, we're gonna take this brush. You guys are wondering where I'm taking my brushes from. If I didn't show you, I'm taking it from here. So for this part, you just for this little mini part right here, you're just gonna want to go around it. For the edges, you just want to go like up against the edges. Um, yeah, that's it. And we do have some bird food that we are going to be putting in the um, birdhouse right here. We're going to do that inside. We're going to do that outside. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed letting me show you how to paint a birdhouse. Um, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. And check me out at My Crafty Garage Kids. Bye for now.